Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be doing some curls in my hair! I'm so excited because while I can do other people's hair, I am incapable of doing my own until it reaches a certain length because I can't like get the back. It just doesn't work out. So now I think my hair is long enough. It's like kind of. And I am going to be doing some beachy waves and I really hope I don't mess this up because I have about 50 minutes to do this and hopefully it turns out looking good because if it doesn't then I'm just going to have to go to this place with like messed up hair and I am so scared. Okay, so basically what I'm going to be using today is this. This is actually, I know the packaging is like weird. But this is Dry Bar's um, curling iron. There's a name for it if I don't know it. It is the one inch iron, which is the small one. And I think the bigger one is like one and a half inches or something. But the reason why it looks like this and it's not in the fancy Dry Bar packaging is because I went there and I was like, hello, I would like to purchase your um, curling iron. However, I would like the back bar issue curling iron. Back bar means it's the ones that the stylists use and not what is sold into like retail for like the consumers. And the one thing that's different about the back bar versus the retail version is only that the cord is way longer, which is amazing because I think like the normal cord is six or eight feet long, whereas the back bar version is 15 feet long. It works really great when you have to use it at the salon and the outlet is like 10 feet away from you and that's the closest one and you're like trying to turn your client, like get them as close to the iron as you can and you're like barely reaching and you have to buy an extension cord. So I got this, so this should be awesome. And I'm gonna buy one of their flow dryers for back bar as well and then I'm just gonna look like I'm endorsed by dry bar which is gonna be weird but anyway so here it is Ooh, there's like no paperwork in here but I guess that's because back bar so I'm gonna this oh what's this so inside is just the iron a silica pack and this black thing oh that's so cute it's like a little stand <gasps> this is so genius all right let's open this Ooh, this cord is really long. Look at all this cord. Look at it. Honestly, like if I go like this, I'm like two inches away from the wall, so this is too much cord for me at home. But if I really love this, I'm gonna have to buy one for home. Oh god, okay. Alright, let's plug this in. Gonna turn this baby on so when you plug it in, it says off. I'm gonna turn it on and it's set currently at 350 degrees, I think. I can't read it backwards, but now it's heating up until the temperature, so it just keeps going up. This is so interesting. I can't wait. No, it's like I'm stuck. All right, so now it's at temperature. That didn't take very long at all. Um, since my hair is so blonde, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so I don't burn my hair off. So let's do a good 300, like 325 is like, okay, they don't have 325. So I'm just gonna do 320, it's good cake baking temperature. And then I have this nice clip, which is also from Dry Bar. I just sound like a Dry Bar spokesperson right now, but I swear I'm not. Not sponsored. I had to buy this with my own money and it was very expensive. So, ooh, I'm nervous. I guess I'm just gonna start. And then to talk about how I feel about this product. Please don't, please don't burn my hair. Oh, I'm nervous. What if it burns my hair? Maybe I should, I'm turning it down to 300, I can't do. 
<laughs> I'm so scared. What if I burn myself? Ew. This part is like sticky. It's not like sticky, it's like rubbery, so it's like grabbing all like the dust and stuff. Gross. Very gross. Okay. Oh, I don't like the way it feels. Gross. Oh, that feels like a sex toy. Or like, bleh. like, I don't know. This just cannot end well. Mm, okay, I can't do this. I'm gonna ruin everything. I'm gonna burn myself. I'm gonna burn myself. Oh my god. I should probably play using a mirror. Mm -hmm. That work? Kind of. I guess it's okay. I really need a mirror. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna burn myself. <laughs> Okay, I gotta take my, I just gotta take my shirt off. Okay. Don't, oh Jesus. Oh my God, ah! Why do I have to do my own hair? Why did I think that I could do this? I don't even know what this looks like. I have to look at it in the mirror. So, hold on a minute. That doesn't really look good, but I'm just gonna keep going because I'm already in too deep. I never do my own hair I do not know how and for my first attempt since my childhood I'd say I did a pretty good job and um, this is gonna fall so I don't look so like crazy when I leave but I kind of love it and I think this is a pro oh god I think this is a pretty good investment um, it ain't bad. I did end up burning myself like five times when using this, either burning my finger or when my arm got tired, I would like touch the iron to my head and that didn't feel that great either. But I mean like it's cute and I like that the temperature goes so low that like I won't burn off my hair when I use the iron. However, I kind of hate this finish. It's like, ugh. I hate touching it. So, ugh. So gross. So gross. Um, as I was using it, it did turn off. So I imagine there is like an automatic shut off if you're not using it um, after a while just to protect it. I don't know because I don't have the user manual because I didn't buy the real version for like all the people who would normally buy it. I bought the back bar version so I have no instructions so I have no idea how to use this. I'm just assuming that it is just a normal curling iron. But that is it. I gotta go. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy my hair right now. So until next time, see you guys later. Bye.